Cody McLeod had a goal today, and it was a skilled goal. Yep. And we saw the other ways that Cody tries to contribute to the team. Yeah, and you can see where there's still a place in the game, Al, for this, right? It, there's a place where you need a guy to bring energy. There's a, there's a, there's a place where you need him to get out on the forecheck. How about that? Because this is really what started his goal. It was his initial forecheck. He rerouted himself and got himself back to the front of the net when the puck got to the point. Uh, that wasn't the only good thing he did while he was still in the lineup. Uh, he still has his teammates being able to play a little bit bigger around him because he's going to get in there and get his nose dirty and he's going to protect you. How do you think that helps Heedle get open ice when he's out there? It, it does because you've got a guy in your lineup that's going to take care of you. And you see, see the uh, pushback from Ross Johnson. He wants to fight him all night and McLeod didn't want to go for it because they're up two and then they're up three. But he gets into this bout and I don't know exactly what happens with his finger here, but it, it looked to me like something of, of, a, of an injury. But he leaves the game after that, but the energy was all set in place, Al, and you can see why uh, David Quinn chooses to put him in the lineup because it did pay dividends, and, and especially in a rivalry game where Ross Johnson's going to be in the lineup on the other side. What are you going to do, not have anybody in the lineup? I think it helps. So he injured his hand, as you can see him look at his left hand. H hitting a helmet with your bare hand will, will do that, so we're not sure what his status yeah. is going forward. Now, I mentioned five different goal scorers for the Rangers. Northwell Health is going to give us a different look. And this Neil Pionk slap shot is the, the real deal. Well, I really thought it was neat where the Rangers recovered the puck five times during their power play. And that sets up Pionk to be able to score. But a lot of things happen first. They're forcing the Islanders to defend, right? So you got to go down on one knee and you recover the puck. And that's the fifth time. That's the fifth time over that two-minute power play. And Pionk drills it. And he's got it off the ice at that exact height we talked about at our last game. It's over that 11-inch mark, so the goalie can't see it. Kreider's in front. But ask any coach what they want from their power play. They want retrievals. They want shots and quick retrievals, and that's exactly what the uh, Rangers delivered. 3-0 heading into the second period. There was a carryover, a, play, a power play, almost a full two minutes. Rangers killed it. That set the tone. And then late in the second period, Kevin Hayes with a nice-looking goal. Uh, a a nice-looking goal because of how he had the patience to outweigh Lehner. Like, you're looking at Lehner's knees on this play, and he collapses. And this is where you're seeing an enhanced bed of vision there for Hayes because it's not easy when you get in all alone. You get in all alone sometimes, and you think you got to make a move because you're in space. You're close. But I'm telling you right now, he's looking at the knees of Robin Lehner. You can see it on this look right here and he goes down and now he is in control and that's how you score goals in the National Hockey League. Uh, for any of you weekend warriors out there, youth hockey player or beer leaguer, look at the goalie's knees. As soon as they begin to collapse, you can deke or pass. That's exactly what uh, Kevin Hayes did. The Rangers weren't done in the third period. Chris Kreider showed all his skills. DraftKings with the player spotlight, strong to the puck, strong period. He got you five shots and nine fantasy points. And then a short side goal on the left wing, which probably shouldn't go in, but it's going in for him. Well, he beat Grice with it, he beat Luongo with it, and now he beat Lehner with it. And uh, that's the third time in one week. How about that? Maybe uh, Robin Lehner's got to check the highlights because it, it's a tough one where his speed and explosive power get him down the ice so quickly. It's almost like goalies feel that he is on top of them so soon. And the surprise off the shot, you can see where Lehner, he, he puts his chin to his shoulder as it goes by. But go back and look at the Luongo goal. Same thing. Luongo's chin is on his shoulder. Go to the Grice goal. Chin is on the shoulder. He's making them turn. It's, it's, it's very neat stuff.